Richard Southern is here to chat about some of the more interesting stories of the day. And Richard, it appears one of Toronto's most popular educational attractions is rebranding. And I'm willing to bet you, like myself, Erica, went on a field trip here back in the day. Pioneer Village. Oh, Ring yeah. a bell? Fond memories of Pioneer Village. I used to eat the fudge and make the butter. It was great. Good times. I could still smell it because, you know, they had all the old fires burning there. Um, Pioneer Village, uh, somewhere where a lot of kids growing up in the GTA go uh, for field trips. You know, it's this recreation of a mid-19th century village in Ontario to sort of teach people young and old what it was like back in the day, if you will. Uh, it's rebranding. Uh, Black Creek Pioneer Village changing its name to the village at Black Creek. They're also talking about a potential redevelopment of the parking lot and the expansion of the museum on a whole, as well as the expansion of the visitor center. This recreation of mid-19th century life first opened to Erica in 1960. Glad to see your Pioneer Village still doing it. As far as field trips go, that's probably the best one, I think. It right? was up there, yeah. It was in my top three, I think. Okay, Star Wars fans, I hope you've been saving up because a model used during filming of the original movie from 1977 has just hit the auction market. I have a few uh, Star Wars nerds in my friendship circle who are going crazy over this one, Erica. A X-Wing model that was used in the first Star Wars movie, there it is, it was thought lost for many years. It's been found, and it's hitting the auction block with the opening bid of $400,000. This thing could go for big money. It's a 124th scale miniature that was one of just four created for up-close filming in the original Star Wars A New Hope movie. They actually ended up finding this in some guy's collection. He didn't know about it, and, you know, Industrial Light and Magic thought they had lost it. It's likely to sell for some big, big money, and, you know, a lot of these Star Wars aficionados, Erica, would love to have that in their collection, wouldn't That's they? That's a huge get. Let's just pool all our money together, and then we'll, you know, pass it around. It's a good, it's a good investment. <laughs> I, I want to so. play with it, though. I'd probably break it, you know me. Oh, no. Not allowed to touch it. Okay. Play Star Wars. <laughs> Finally, some NFL fans were in for a big shock last night after a bar offered Packers fans free drinks if the Jets lost their matchup, and then the game took a turn. Boy, unfortunately it did for my Bills. The Jets were playing my Bills. Here's the story. Aaron Rodgers, the longtime quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, left this year. He went to New York, and so a bar in Milwaukee, I guess, is sort of a good riddance. They said, listen, we're going to give free drinks to everybody if the Jets lose. Well, we're looking at it here. Only minutes into the game, Aaron Rodgers tears his Achilles. He's out for the season. This is just minutes into the game. So everyone in the bar thinks, well, with Aaron Rodgers out, the Jets are definitely going to lose. Let Let's get real drunk. Let's buy a lot of booze. And boy, they did. But wouldn't you know it? The Jets, with their backup quarterback, staged a huge comeback and in overtime beat Mills, beating everyone at that bar, Erica, had to pay a big bar tab. It just goes to show you, you really shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch, should yeah. you? Staff and the owners were uh, the winners in the end there, weren't they? Indeed, a lot of people sleeping off a financial hangover and maybe Probably. another type of hangover as well. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.